You can't tell us how to speak. Nah, nigga, please. Let me get my cash. Let me get it. Real guys, you can't tell us how to speak. The next one was a song called House Niggas. You know, everybody listened to it like, oh, he's shitting on Oprah, he's shitting on Bill Cosby. No, that's from a project that me, YB, and Cam got going. We got a group called Rice, a whole other lane of music, it's real political driven. I mean, it's a beast. It's real dope, though, but it's, it's real over the top. And this was one of the songs that we leaked on another mixtape we did for the Tupac soundtrack. And I felt like I had to bring it back because I know a lot of people, it, felt con it, it created controversy. And when you listen to House Niggas, like you hear those names and you start wigging, but those are all names that's going against hip hop in the public forum, in the public media. And it's like, if you want to help somebody, you don't embarrass them in front of everybody. Like, what type of shit is that? Who embarrasses? Like, Oprah says she want to help hip-hop, but it's embarrassing hip-hop in front of everybody. Like, and that's that's support too many black people in the ghetto for her to do that. So that's what made me say, you know what? You front. You're not trying to help. You're not trying to help the situation. You're trying to fuck it over for your race with them crackers that's watching this shit. No disrespect to white people, but I'm referring to the racist white people that really don't want to see us eating from this hip-hop shit. Like, I, I think I'm only being fair. So, you know what I mean? That's what you heard. House niggas. We finna shoot a video for that in a month or two. That's a project we're gonna probably put out next year sometime. Maybe through Strange Music, through Tech Nine. We've been talking about it. So, look for that business collab to happen real soon. And that was like the fruit of, that was like the early fruit of the tree that we, you know, we planted. So, hope y'all enjoy that. You know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure Oprah, Bill Cosby, you know, Bill O'Reilly, like, fuck me right now. If they're not saying it right now, they'll be saying it later. So, once again, I continue on the fuck glasses Malone tradition. The next song, is an interlude, it's Bob Lieberman, it's my attorney, and it was like, we just came up with the idea, when I did Fuck Glasses Malone, it was like, I felt like, this is what every nigga wanted to say to me, but they knew my rep in the streets was cold, you know what I'm saying, not fearful, but more or less it was solid, people like me, people respect me, people know I'm about what I say I'm about, like I'm not trying to be somebody I'm not, you don't see me out here with no chain, niggas always like, gee, ain't got no chain, no watches, it ain't because I ain't got the money. Don't be silly. I got a $500,000 crib in a fucking Billy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, I can't afford this shit. I got a nice watch. I just don't wear it because I'm in the gutter all the time. I'm going to floss on them. It's already bad. I'm jumping out the Billy. I just gave the truck to my brother, so I can't jump out of nothing else. I'm going to get a Challenger on some 24s. I already ordered a new Camaro, so. Anyway, I had my attorney do it because he's one of the biggest supporters in my career. When I was trying to get off Sony, he really held me down. So I just wanted to make sure, you know, I involved him in this project because he know how it is to be me. Like, he hears people talking that punk shit about me. Some of his own clients that's older West Coast people is talking that shit about me. So I made sure he was able to get that off. Taking us in the fuck glasses alone. That's how niggas feel. I'm not this a Lil Wayne Birdman. I fuck with Weezy. This nigga holds me down. It's creative, my nigga. It's like, I'm really, I grab that shit. I'm really creative, my nigga. Like, that's how niggas felt. I knew how they was like, fuck Wayne. You know, he a blood, but he doing something with a crib. And you got niggas like, fuck Wayne, he ain't a real blood. You got niggas saying all that. So, like, he got his own dose of it. He got his own dose of it, you feel me? Like, and then, like, Birdman, same thing. Niggas hating on him because he put me on. Like, I'm a West Coast nigga. Like, oh, fuck, baby. You know, he... My nigga Stretch calling me, Mr. Fab Manager. Shout out to Stretch, the whole Fizz Camp Fab, you know, everybody up in the Bay Queen, Will, SMC, I know what it is. But, so that's Fuck G Malone and the whole nutshell was like, everybody who helped me, they got this. I dissed them, because that's how y'all niggas really want to do. The Joe Buttons outro was just something I feel like I had to put on there. That ain't no disrespect to Joe, like the record ain't about Joe Buttons. I like that nigga rapping. Royce fuck with him, Crooked fuck with him, I like the nigga rapping. I just felt it was shitty how he did me, dog. like... He ain't have to do a nigga like that, you feel me? Like, he could have did it way better, you feel me? Like, he, he didn't have to do me like that shit. So I said I took it and used it as fuel. That's all I do. I ain't gonna get mad, because if I got mad, you know it'd be stupid. Like, I'm gonna be fighting with I'm gonna shoot this nigga or something. This nigga's a rapper, and I like his music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want that extra beef with no nigga. I'm, I'm popping at him. Then I gotta go to Jersey and fuck around and get popped. That nigga don't want that. But it's just, I gotta use it as fuel when people are being negative to me, especially for no reason, because... I've never met this man, and for him to be bugging with what Akon did for me instead of did for him, that ain't cool. That's like really not fresh. But from what I understand, you know what I mean, it's all together. I know I'm supposed to talk to him, so shout out to Joe Buttons. It ain't no disrespect to him. You know what I'm saying? It was just more or less like, shit, that's how he felt. So I took it and made a great record for me. Um, the next song is Where It's At. That's another song that everybody could be thinking I'm dissing Jim Jones. But like, because Cameron is on it. Everybody like, how you get Cameron on it? Them is all the questions. 
They ain't even tripped that a nigga who just sold a million records in the first week. Lil Wayne was on the motherfucker. They was like, nigga, Cam is on it. First off, I'm not dissing Jim Jones. Jim Jones is filthy fucking rich. I cannot say where his shit is at. I've seen his shit. Like, cuz got everything. So nobody can say where is Jim Jones shit at. He done pulled it out over and over again. Like, he is the nigga. So I am not dissing Jim Jones. If you ever thought I was, get it right. Nigga, Jimmy, a boss outright. That ain't no disrespect to nobody else. But Jim Jones got his shit going. I am not dissing him. He got everything that he's ever probably got. That motherfucker that sold half to six, seven hundred thousand, eight hundred, a million records independently, motherfucker. He's spending money still. He didn't even, he just did. What the nigga just do? A seven figure deal with, you know, Sony? Like, come on, dog. Like, you can't. I'm not talking about another rich nigga, like, asking him where his shit is. I'm referring to a lot of the rappers that's coming up that's talking this Bentley shit. Niggas from the coast. Like, niggas talking about Bentleys and they rap. There's only two niggas out here in the Bentley, man. Crooked Eye. So if you talking about a Bentley nigga, and you ain't me a crooked eye? Nigga, what is you talking about? Why are you lying? I wasn't rapping about Bentley's on White Lighting. Nigga, I was rapping about Cullises and Malibu wagons and like real life shit. I was keeping it thorough. You know what I'm saying? Rapping about what I was having. But, you know, I listen to niggas now. Everybody got Bentleys, niggas in cribs. Nigga, these niggas is living in apartments. Man, I'm like one of the few West Coast niggas that's young that own his own crib. Even out of some of the older niggas. And that's because I'm smart with my money and I invested. I'm working on getting my third house right now. So. Like, it ain't stopping. I'm just in this making smart decisions. I want to buy a lot of problems. Wayne is on there. Of course, that's my boss. You know, he backed me up. He always hold me down. Shout out to Lil Wayne. Continued success. Congratulations on your kid, my nigga. Great business. Thanks for everything that the nigga ever helped me with. Cameron, that was a great scenario. That was somebody who knew I was out here. Red Cafe linked it up. The nigga respected my hustle. He checked it out. He was like, nigga, niggas knew. Told him I was thorough out here. The nigga heard a couple records. He liked them and decided to do the record. And I thought it would be fresh. Like, you know, this nigga's a staple here. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dipset is a staple out here. So I thought that'd be ill to have him on that record. And he came through and delivered brought it, you know, he brought that shit top notch. And right now, you know, he making this whole move on the game again, and it feel like, it feel great to have my record be a part of it. You know what I mean? Like, niggas be like, oh, I remember you came back on the G Malone record. It was like, that's amazing. Cameron's a legend. Do your thing, my nigga. I don't get fucked with nobody tell you, dog. That's my heart, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for doing that. You didn't have to do it. You could have charged me. You could have did a million things, but you did it, so I appreciate that. And where it's at, like, of course, every nigga mad because they think I'm talking about them. Nigga, if you feel like that, nigga, stop lying about your cars. You don't got it. Stop lying about your paper. You ain't got it. These niggas talking about they bought the bar. I am only young nigga in L.A. I am the only young nigga in L.A. who's ever bought the bar, and I'm born on my third time. Stop lying, my nigga. You can't be me. I'm not trying to be you. Damn, I'm saying, nigga, let me... Nigga, let me do my thing. White Lightning was popping out here. Nigga, let me be me. I'm not trying to take another nigga's story, so... If you think I'm talking about you, I probably am. Guess it is what it is, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I can't really say that. I know you like fucking, so we keeping in tradition, man. We keep it moving. The next record is called Fucking Your Girl. <laughs> Red Cafe, Quiz, my little nigga. Of course, Red, that's family, my nigga. Like, I love that nigga. He always hold me down, you know what I'm saying? When I go to New York, the nigga always trying to pass me a pistol. I'm like, nigga, I'm staying in Manhattan, though, cuz. Like, what, I'm gonna shoot a businessman or something? <laughs> So, you know what I mean? Shout out to Red, you know what I mean? But he, he, he fuck with the nigga. He always show up whenever I come to his town. And I just wanted to make a record for you niggas that's not really taking care of business at home. Honestly, I would never fuck with another nigga girl. Like, I, I, that just ain't my stage. I don't get out. My mama, like, I'm just woofing on that record. That ain't real. I would never fuck another nigga girl. It just ain't my stage. But Red will fuck your girl. Quiz will fuck your girl. They serious. So I just wanted to make a record that made niggas feel like, man, this nigga scheming on my bitch. Another nigga saying fuck G Malone, man, fuck me. You know what I'm saying? But it's for the ladies, too. You know, it's like, nigga know how to treat you. Like I said, I ain't afraid to put my breath in between the two partners. Like, but I wouldn't fuck no nigga girl. I'm just keeping it 100 on my dead homies. I don't, I don't believe in that. But Quiz and Red Will. Shout out to Red Quiz. What's that? The next record is Haters. And that, that's inspired this whole tape. The success is certified. How niggas start acting towards me. Before I certified, everybody was happy for me. When I finally got a hit record, niggas started getting real shitty towards me. So, Haters was a record that I had, and Lil Wayne and Bird got on the motherfucker. And that's how I was feeling, straight up. It is what it is, you know what I mean? I'm in the club blowing thumb. Been out front, like, hey, I know you haters don't like that. I know you don't like that. 
That's actually off of Beach Cruise, it's part of the story, but shit, it just, it fit in with the thing, the scheme of things so well, I decided to use it, so, keep it moving.